So this is one of my favorite activists, uh, favorite revolutionaries. His name is Fred Hampton. And so he is the leader of, the youngest leader of the Black Panther Party, um, and actually died when he was 21 years old um, and was, it was assassinated um, by the FBI. And what is interesting is that, like I said, he was a very young man, 21 when he passed, uh, when he was murdered, I should say. And he, he quoted, or he, um, he, he made the quote, um, to dare to struggle. And so this was something that has always inspired me and encouraged me to dare to struggle because life can many times be a struggle. Life can many times be very, very difficult to take on, right? But if you dare to continue to struggle, there are so many things that we can, we can accomplish together. And he knew, even though he was 21 years old when he was murdered, he knew exactly what he was gonna die for. And so this is what this quote is right here. Does anybody wanna, wanna read this? I'm not going to die on no airplane. <coughs> I'm not going to die. Snipping on the on no ice. I'm going to die for the people because I'm going to live for the people. I'm going to live for the people because I love the people. But Hampton. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. The one thing that. Is promised in life and I'm not trying to be dark in any way shape or form but the one thing that is promised in life is that one day we're gonna transition on right we're going to leave this earth right and if there is anything in this world that I know personally I'm willing to die for it is for the people it is for you it is for us as a collective right because at the end of the day many times we are all we have right we need each other and so my question to you, that I want you to go ahead and jot this down. Describe a life that you are willing to die for. What does it look like? What are you doing? 